I ended up getting Randy. That's what we're calling it, and honestly, I like it. I'm not surprised though, considering I've loved Scout Rifles since Vision of Confluence from D1. So yeah. So before I share my opinion about this gun, let's talk about how to get this gun. So you're gonna wanna go to Shax and pick up the Reconnaissance by Fire quest, which is gonna ask you to get 450 final blows with a Scout Rifle, 2100 glory earned, and enemies defeated, and medals earned. First, let me get this out of the way. Since my comments on my Recluse video and Lulu's Howl's video, I've been getting a bunch of people telling me they can't earn it. To earn glory, which is basically comp, the way you earn it now is through the survival playlist, which is, uh, I'll show it in the, in the video right now, but you essentially go to this area and you can play survival team, team match or do survival, survival queue. I ended up doing it all in uh, solo survival queue, which is, I highly recommend it. It's way more fun. You don't get into teams and it's just uh, overall better, so, like usually. Not only that, but I ended up getting the 2100 points like in three, maybe four hours. I ended up killing it yesterday and yeah, it was super quick. I actually had one of the best games I've ever had in my life. We were down on lives. I was the last one alive and the, the enemy team had three lives remaining and I killed all of them. I killed them all and obviously it was my tie in with their stupid broken arc punch there. Oh my god guys, it was so great. I'm still mad that I didn't record that. But yeah, this is not a this is not that type of video. So let's talk about an annoying part of the quest that's gonna happen. And for me at least it was the final blows with the scout rifles. But if you have any good scout rifles like I do, which I have a night watch with rapid hit and multi kill clip, which is a really good role for me at least. But you can go with an exotic scout as well, which is probably the smarter choice. The only reason I use a legendary scout, aside from the fact that night watch is an awesome scout, is because I was leveling up the Val quest for Ariana's Val. So aside from that, the best way to grind for the defeated enemies and medals is to go into Iron Banner since it's mad easy to get medals. It's literally bonkers wild how just the, just the amount of medals you get. But if you're not leveled up enough or you just don't want to go through all that hellhole, then go into control and play. It's honestly, this probably won't take you that long, honestly. Getting medals is not hard at all. So now let's talk about the weapon itself. So the weapon has rapid fire frame, which is again, a very unique frame for this gun. I don't think there's any other gun aside from like two in the energy slot that have this. So this is an awesome frame to have. You have fluted barrel, you have extended mag, and then the first two that you get is rapid hit and snapshot sights. Next one is Zen moment with kill clip. And honestly, I'm going to talk about which, which perks to use and whatnot, but let's actually see. Is this weapon any good? I think this weapon is great. It has to be one of the best scouts I've ever felt and the best ritual weapon this season. Easily, by far, no competition. I absolutely love this gun, mostly because the weapon has great frame and great perks. The actual weapon model looks fantastic, and this is a reskin of Niflheim Frost, which was a scout from the Warmind DLC, but with a few differences here and there. And the scope having that red is so sexy, which isn't new considering every pinnacle and ritual weapon have that, but I still want to reiterate that that shit still looks cool. Keep doing that. Shooting this feels smooth, but the first initial shots fired from this gun do seem a bit inaccurate at first, at least from my experience, which is why I don't think snapshot sights is ideal for this gun and Zen Moment on PC for me is a useless perk for me. The stats on this is pretty good, all things considered, but that base reload speed is pretty bad. Not terrible, but it's still pretty bad. I honestly could tell you a lot of things about this gun, but I think the best thing I could tell you is that I really think this gun is the only ritual weapon that has sold me on legendaries that are just god rolled. I just wish that it was a bit more unique, like maybe a third, like maybe a third no damage type perk, like I said on my exit strategy video, like quick draw with rapid hit 
and kill clip would literally make me cry. I think this gun needs a little nudge to make it truly unique. Other than that, this weapon's dope. I will be using this in PvP and PvP. And I will be showing you guys some extra footage of me playing with this gun. But that's pretty much it. I didn't want to make this video really long, especially since I don't do I don't do numbers. I don't do a lot of stuff that like other YouTube content creator does. I just tell you if it's good or not, if, you, if it's worthy. And this gun is well worth the grind and will be a great addition to your loadout, whether you're going into the Crucible or killing gods. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this gun. Do you guys think it's any good or am I just shit at reviewing gun weapons? That's probably the case, but like I said before, I I love numbers. I do love all that type of shit, but at the end of the day, I just want to hear like basically like is the weapon fun? Is it easy to get? It's like I'm trying to put my my like my shoes into like someone who's like I don't care about numbers, I just want to know if it feels good. And to me, the weapon feels good, it feels really comfortable. I will say, it'll take a little bit getting used to shooting it, because I'm not, well, for me at least, I'm not used to shooting a scout rifle with one click. I'm used to like, like timing my shots and whatnot, not like just mowing, like clicking and just having the, sh the shit shoot automatically. So, there's a few things here and there, but most, Mostly, I love this gun. It's well worth the grind. Honestly, the grind's not even that crazy. I technically finished this in one day, but I had like the bulk of another st uh, uh, another quest done step done. But honestly, like I said, if you dedicate like a weekend to it, you you get it by that weekend, no problem at all. Depends if you like uh, Crucible or not. But like I said, that's pretty much it. That's all I can say. So. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to f subscribe and follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below and I will see you guys later. The lead is yours. Captured zone B. Two zones are yours. Zone A captured. Two zones are yours. Like the hunter. Nothing can stop you.